So, tuloy lang natin yung ating subversion track. Uh, so, last time, nag-install tayo ng, uh, tor- ng Tortoise SVN as a client. Now, we're going to install a server. So, we mentioned nga na last time, Visual SVN server. You could actually use yung command line tools ng sabihin natin ng Tortoise SVN pero nakakatamad eh. Uh, install na lang tayo ng uh, Visual SVN server. So, uh, siya na bahala mag-serve ng assets via Apache HTTP server. So, palitan natin yung directory ng repositories. Okay na yun, I guess. Uh, then, we're going to use subversion authentication. I guess that's a uh, very good default. So, install lang natin. Yeah. So, by default, gagamitin niya yung uh, serve niya by HTTPS. Yung ating repos. So, just starting it. So, gawa tayo na isang bagong repository. Yun natin, test repo2. Then, you have the option to create a default structure and trunk branches tags so there you have it note na https win blah 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 kasi yun yung dun sa ating uh, uh, ur uh, yun yung sa ating uh, computer name so you could y- this is essentially your ip address so wala namang kaso dyan lagay lang tayo ng dalawang user great user so alice uh, basic password lang natin anything would do then another user Bob and uh, lagyan lang natin ng properties kung sino so everyone tanggal na si everyone uh, no access add tayo add natin si Bob so, everyone has no access, pero si Alice Bob meron siyang read-write. Then, so let's try it out. The commands is uh, IP config muna para makita natin yung IP address natin. So, that's 192.168.1.122. So, See and check out uh, HTTPS. Yeah, num lock so na brain. Yes. Then the name that's SVN test repo two trunk so repo two so we're going to accept the the fingerprint at least kahit okay, permanently na natin a check then uh, yeah password natin is Ayan, for Alice, kasi yun yung current name. So, eh, siya na bahala. Nalaman na niya Alice yung ginagamit natin. So, password for Alice is online password na ginamit dun. So, checked out revision 1. CD, repo 2. So, dear, wala siyang laman. CN log. So, initial structure galing dun sa uh, SVN server natin. So we can just do our random shit. So, add. Uh, so, add. 
need me scan it um need me so yeah na uh, commit na natin siya and if we refresh this meron na tayong readme.txt so also you could we could move to another machine and check out the whole thing so na install na rito yung uh, uh, tortoise svn so tinatamad na ako mag uh, gamit ng uh, na command line so we're just going to use so that's 192.168.1.122 svn test repo 2 trunk then I think that's correct accept it permanently so see Bob with non authentication so there you go test repo 2 and our readme check natin yung log so yun si svn yung nagkawa ng initial si alice yung nag add so we could edit this ay what Malet. ay sublime text lang Ang bagal mag-start up na sublime tags. Welcome to subversion. Save. So, let's commit this. Spend commit. Commit everything. Add new lines. So, we could double check kung ano yung na-add. So, yeah, we added two lines. So, okay. Once committed, commit na natin siya. We go back to Alice. And we could just SVN update. Already revision 3. Double check natin yung gino nakikita na dun sa repo natin. It's repo 2. Or the SVN show the log, so we have the three changes. So there, so yun lang yung pag install na server. But uh, yeah, at this point, you should be able to use yung ating uh, uh, subversion for the basic usage, and uh, as long as you know yung paano ka gumamit ng kano uh, magsetup ng IP addresses, hopefully you're going to, uh, ideally you're going to set na static yung IP ng uh, machine nyo. So, hindi nyo pa alam, well, that's the lesson. That's another lesson. Uh, kung available na siya, dapat lalabas na yun dito. Anyway, for the next lesson, ginagita, pinakita na yung basic usage, yung pag-create ng repo, pag-add, uh, commit, then pag-update. Uh, next lesson, we're going to discuss yung basic workflow. Kasi hindi lang naman basta-basta add, commit, and all that yung uh, paggamit ng revision control. There is a workflow that you're going to have to follow para naman, uh, again, balik tayo sa people thing, which is so software engineering. We do this, this stuff para maayos yung coordination between people. And kung hindi tama yung workflow mo, uh, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> so, yeah, see you in the next lesson.